and nobody cares. <laughs> Welcome to tonight at the Aquarium. This is the legend of the chosen cosplay pop audition. Is everybody excited or what? Last year I, I hosted this with Flair. Today I got my good friend here, Napoleon Dynamite, John here! Alright. Is that alcohol? No, it's not. Alright. No, it's not. It's but not. juice. Alright. It's Bud Juice, folks. We got some great jokes. My name is Michael Rosenbaum. I'm here with you. We're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. We got a lot of great, great fights. Watch out. I don't know. I'm just wanting to get a feel for these people. This looks great. Well, these people have worked really hard on their costumes. Yeah. These people have not because they did not no. get in the competition. Not but these people. You tried really hard. <laughs> I'm just yes. kidding. I'm just kidding. You guys all look amazing. So yes, we're going to encourage these guys, they're going to do things like this. Yes. And they're going to walk something like that. Depending on the character, I do want you guys to be as in yes. character as you can. It will help the judges, helps us just to be entertained. Can you hear us alright? Yeah. Everyone can hear us out there? Yeah. Out of the acoustics. Thank you God with sword, Aquaman. Yeah. You see that? You just, you just threw it up at us. Thank you, sir. How many people came here tonight just to do the Aquaman pose in front of the tanks? I already saw like three people. It's probably like three times a billion. Right now, I'd like to introduce our judges. I'm a little nervous here. Why are they? You're not a judge. You're just a computer girl. Good. That's for you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, wait. on the left side, uh, I'm going to say that right here with the, with the cool hair, you got to be Fawn Davis. They've all got cool hair. Who's Fawn Davis? Give it up for Fawn Davis. Stand up, Judge. Woo! Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth Gah. Damn. Uh, I am under uh, in the understanding that she's a winner from last year. Very excited. Yes. So you guys know she knows what she's talking about. Yeah. Or what she's judging about. Yes, and judges, uh, first of all, we got one more judge. That's Catherine. Stand up! Are you related to Tommy Lee Jones? No, sir. I didn't kill my wife! I don't care. That's what he says. Hey, let me ask you guys something. John, come on, come on down here. I'll just stand here. What do we look for for a winner here? I want to see some good craftsmanship and excellent construction and execution of costumes. Those are the Gosh, I'm too close. Those are the three priorities to you. All right. So craftsmanship. What were the other two? Loser. <laughs> Display. Presentation. Right. Presentation. Yeah. What about you, sir? What do you think? Uh, attention to detail. I also look for like how many skills are utilized while making the costume. So if they utilize uh, casting and electronics and foam and sewing, that's always high. Great. And how about you, young lady? I would agree, a variety of techniques, and I also like imagination and creativity. Yeah, I like that. Does sex appeal, or personality, or how they move their derriere matter at all? Okay, I hope so. What about personal preference? What if you see someone dressed up as R2-D2, and he's your favorite character of all time, but it's shoddy workmanship, but you just love R2-D2 to the core? Objectively, I like that. You guys hear that? It's going to be fair. I like this. Level playing field. Oh, we got a DJ here. Where's the DJ? Yeah, Kick some music off for a second. Up. Don't touch me. Where's the DJ? You are the DJ. Oh, no, there he is right there. Danger Mouse. Can we hear something? He's going to... Give me something. What? Oh, he's up there. I'm glad you're prepared. That's Thriller for you guys who never heard of the most famous song of all time. Alright, no, enough of you. No more. Let's get down to business. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I can go in, man. You don't want that. Let's go. Like what you see, girls? Alright, let's get this thing started. Costume name, Azula! 
everything was peaceful at the aquarium, then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Wow. One of my personal favorites, Avatar, for those who uh, may not know. Not the movie, that Last Airbender, but the team, the, the cartoon series. Keep that in mind. Really solid walk. Is that it? Just do one? She just does one walk? Is that it? Okay, that was really nice. The super walk. Alright, let's hear it for Evil Potter Cosplay. Give it, give it up. That was a really sassy outfit. Look at this contestant number three right now. This is Ellie. Go ahead, John, read that. Alright, meet her. She is. Costume name is Daenerys. Wait, slash winter coat. I think that denotes what she's wearing. Yes, there's other scenes where Daenerys is wearing nothing. When Ellie is wearing Daenerys winter coat from season seven of Game of Thrones, each stripe on the coat is individually stuck and sewn to the fur base. The mother of dragons she is hand sculpted from war blood and contains 37 individual links. Look at this beauty, this creation. It's a lie! What is, what is war blood? Oh, it's a kind of, I, oh, I thought it was some kind of cool, like, things mined by the dwarves in that era. Can I touch, can I touch uh, this? Oh, it's still alive! Very beautiful, it's not real fur, right? It's real fur? No, it's not, no, it's not. I've killed many war blows to do that. Give it up for Ellie! <laughs> Ellie, beautiful, just beautiful. John, who we got out here? Hey, contestant number four, let's welcome Gail Schleiman. Schleiman? Schleiman. 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 Okay, and her costume name is Schleiman Sterns. From the sequence from the Paul Masquerade sequence from Labyrinth. Sarah Williams. This is Gail in her interpretation of Sarah's masquerade costume from the 1986 movie Labyrinth, of course. Gail used lace making techniques with an embroidery machine, piping details, additional embroidery secured with free motion, and fancy hems with an overlock, and also constructed the petticoat. Wow, simply divine. I have to say so myself. Wow. Wonderful. Wonderful. I feel like David now she could just have that cool bubble around her and David Bowie's all in the John, get ready. Okay. Contestant number eight, this is Elizabeth McKinnon. Also the known as costume name, second, segment. Second. No, segment. Second. Second. Segment. Segment. Segment, the daughter of Ra, Egyptian goddess of war. Her rage and bloodlust can only be conquered through extreme drunkenness, making Dragon Con the perfect venue. It's well said. This costume was hand sewn with armor crafted using EVA foam or EVA and a metallic finish. The mask was purchased unfinished at the Dragon Con art show and completed up personally alongside the rest of the costume by Elizabeth herself. Wow. That reminds me of that Tom Cruise movie where they're wearing the masks. What was it? That's Eyes Wide Shut. Eyes Wide Shut, yeah, man. Me and my kids watch that every Saturday night. You're a sick dude. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. The legend of the chosen cosplay competition is alive. You guys like it so far? Yeah, let's hear it for these. Come on, these girls, guys, worked hard. Yeah, we need to clap after each one. All right. Okay. Oops. Next. Next up, we got number, contestant number 10, we got a group. Look at this, it is the Sanderson Hocus sisters. Focus. Yeah, we saw one of them too. So we got Hocus Pocus, Lineage. Oh, shit! Oh, oh my god, I swear the life out of me, sorry for swearing. Winnie, Mary, and Sarah. All right, you know them from Salem, Massachusetts. Please welcome us, Mary and Winnie Sarah and Mary, the Sanderson sisters. The Sanderson sisters! Yeah. If you guys could just sing, I put a spell on you, maybe no. This is. Oh. Is that a spell? Okay. John, quit talking to them. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You guys look fantastic. Look at our character and everything. Guys, man. We believe in breath men switches. <laughs> Ooh. 
the smell of my breath just now. <laughs> I like this. This is character and everything. You guys see that character. Give it up for the Sandersons! Amazing. All right, contestant number 16, stage name Sailor Mercury, Sailor Venus, Sailor Mars. You guys, come on, show us your anus, gentlemen. <laughs> there they are, look at these guys. Right. The sailor scouts. Are those real? Are those real? Can I bug one off you guys? Oh, yeah. See the oh, it's one of those candy gum cigarettes, yeah. You pop on it, all the little sugar comes off. Wonderful. Wow. I'll tell you, I love nothing more than some semen. Yeah. How do you do that? Contestant number 17, yes. we have Paya and Pura. Yes. Okay? And the costume name is Paya and Pura. 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 Paya and Pura are part of a long line of Sheikah lineage in the kingdom of Hyrule. One of my favorite games, Pura, a Sheikah and ancient technology researcher, is actually the grand aunt of Paya. Paya is a guardian of an ancient Sheikah heirloom with an actuation of the Helian warrior, Link, as we all know. Look at these guys. Wow. Made famous by the game Breath of the Wild. I know most of you nerds have probably played it. Switch or Wii U, doesn't matter. How long did it take you to build these costumes? Oh, gosh. Two months? Two months. Did you work every day together? Oh, yeah. Did you ever scream at each other? No. The nun from Game of Thrones who says, Shame! Oh, and everybody look at her. No, 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 she's not the nun. No, she's not the lady. Uh, uh, uh. What? Lana? Lana. 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 Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's not the true. She, she got poisoned by Lana. Oh, uh, sorry, spoiler alert. Just ruined the last season. <laughs> can we still shame her anyway? No, she's not. Yeah, you can I shame her all you want. Shame! Shame! shame. It's not. It's I was a shame person. All right, back to the contest. She's the one who killed Trophy, you guys. Jackson. We should love her. Hoist her up. <laughs> judges, how are we doing so far? Judges, are we doing all right? Yeah. Need water? Are, yeah, are there any uh, early, uh, anybody leading the pack just right now in your minds? <laughs> don't let them down. You, you don't have to say anything. Just speak. Just think about it. All Ladies right. and gentlemen, contestant number? No. John, all you have to do is move the point of the pack. Don't let him do it. Don't talk to him. Oh my gosh, it doesn't matter how you work. Number 24, this is Asoka Tano. Asoka Tano. Asoka Tano. Asoka Tano. Some of the costumes. Don't do a suck a tunnel! Uh oh. Don't you touch the eyeballs when you touch this like beard? Yeah, so let me touch that. John, grab the other. Okay, a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Just go. Thank you. Wonderful. Uh, so tunnel. Fantastic, beautiful costume. Where did you get those socks? Amazon. How original. Thank you. I'm gonna get a pair of those. Oh, you think? I saw the time. 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 All right, we're moving right along. Contestant number 26. Oh, I can't wait to look inside. Oh, we know. It is Wiki. Everybody, welcome Wiki. Undersea adventurer and Clive the Clockwork Octopus. Great. Wow. That is awesome. Looking for the treasures of the briny deep and battling the monsters that guard them. It 
is Ricky and her adventuring companion, Clyde the Clockwork Octopus. Can you guys give it up for Ricky? Look at that. We got revenants, we got lanterns, we got electronics, like you guys said. Wait, right. come over here for a second. She has no peripheral vision. Please give her. Are you claustrophobic? No. Thank God. If you fart in here, how long will it smell? Forever. I noticed. And if, he, if Michael breathes in there, how long does that smell last? Infinity. Infinity. That's longer than forever. How many fingers do I have up next to you? Oh, you have a hole in there. Yeah, she's got lots of holes in there. Give it up! Wiki! 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 She's a wicked, 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 wicked! A wicked, 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 wicked! Okay. Oh, we gotta read more? Are we, are we, are we moving it? Are we slow? Alright. I know we're, we're getting the signal to leave the stage now. Contestant number 28. This right. is Miss Pennywise. Oh no, you know this scares me. Miss Pennywise from the movie Hit. Pennywise, the dancing clown. Pennywise, I'm, oh! frightened. I'm frightened and alone. I'm frightened and alone. Now what I really want to see is do like a backward sunset all the legs and the arms. Yeah, I've seen the movie. That is fantastic. Do you like creepy things? Yes. Uh, do you freak your boyfriend? Do you freak out? No. No boyfriend? No. Okay. She ate him. Thank you. That's fantastic. Hey, Contestant number 31, we got Tam, Tam Song Dog. No, Dog. The dog. Tam Song Dog. Okay? Oh, here she comes! <laughs> Look how beautiful and elegant! As you guys might have seen, she is the Ice Goddess. The Ice Goddess. <laughs> queen, nay, not queen, not princess, but goddess. The Ice Goddess is a powerful elemental of the Northern Realms. Riding her chariot, she appears to travelers and hunters, drawing them into her entourage. The Ice Goddess is an original character with many elements, including the crown, hand sewn, and crafted. Oh my gosh, it's really beautiful from up close, John. Don't get too close. She will, she'll seduce you, bring you into her, her entourage. Which I think just translates to like you can get into parties with her, you can get like free hookups of her sloppy seconds, whatever. Fantastic. Yeah. You look absolutely divine this evening. You won't put a spell on me, will you? <laughs> All right, get up! Let's go for the Ice Goddess. Ice Goddess. Wow, that was pretty intense. Hey, hey was she cold when you touched her? She wasn't cold, she was, I would call her supple. But was she, so, was she so cold that she was hot? You know, like when things seem like burning hot? Yeah, and her breath was really good. Yeah. Yeah. What well, well, would be? Like minty fresh. Minty okay. fresh. I just thought it would be awesome. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Contestant 34, this is, it's uh, us. It's us. It's uh, us. Uh, uh, us. It's us! It's us! It's us! Mario Beach, Mario and Luigi! The Mario Hose! And yes, they will take your coins! Ooh. We've almost got a Bowser bounding here. I like this. It's pretty fast and amazing. Are you having fun? Yeah. Uh, actually, are you having fun? Yes. Look at the Mario Hose. Hopping towards you this 2018, we've got. Now, I see Mario and Princess holding hands. Did they finally make it official? All these years we've been waiting in anticipation. Mario and Princess, will you hook up? Look at that, oh, look no. at that sexy group here. Look, what are, they, what are they holding? What is that thing right there? It's a fireball. It's a fireball. I don't know, yeah, you know, the firepower. Thank you guys, fantastic. Let's hear it for the Mario Brothers and Princesses and Bowser. Judges, there's some good, 
contestants here, Rick Hoskins, are you doing all right? You're stressed right now, aren't you? Are you drinking beer? Yeah, he's sweating, his ears are coming off. Okay, what's going on with this? Contestant number 35, we have Danny Wong. Danny Wong, stops your name, Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong. After borrowing the Dragon King armor of the Eastern Sea, Sun Wukong is the great sage and equal of heaven. This is pretty cool, John. What is he doing for the space? He's looking for some like action pivotal moments. Like, it seems old school, right? In shows on the Warriors and the Comics. In terms of faces, what is he doing, you guys? Tell us. Woo! Prop malfunction. What happened? I don't regret that thing. What happened? Oh, you're alright, you're alright. It's right. It's good. What, you, what, what happened, John? It's gold. It's mine. Shh, give this gold back. This is fair. Is that real love? Look at this. Ah, you look fantastic. Oh my gosh. Give it up. Let's give it up for Danny Wong. It's incredible. Some countries, that's a rude and offensive gesture, you guys. But not here. We love it. All right, we're having a good time here. We are having fun. We've got just a couple more contestants right now. Who's this, John? Contestant number 36. We have Savage and Nico. Megami? Yeah, Savage and Nico. Legends of the Hidden Temple Guards, Blue Barracoon, and Red Jaguar. Woo! Wow. They look like they're from Stargate. I'm not sure if that's it, but let's find out. There's a legend of a hidden temple with treasures inside, guarded by the great wise Olmec and his temple guards. Here we have the vicious blue barracuda and the regal red jaguar temple guards. Temple guards. Jaguar. How are you guys feeling this evening? Good, thank you. How long did it take you to build this? Uh, two months. Two months. You live together? No. <laughs> you're married? You're not married. That'd be weird if you do live together and you're married, right? Why didn't I ask that? No, stupid question. It's, it's a modern day, okay? Anything can happen. Is there a button we can push in and shoot these blades? All right, all right. Take note of that, guards. We're not mean? real weapons. Give that, yeah, folks. Judges. Legends of the Eternal Gods. Savage and Nico. Megami. How are you doing? I'm just like getting out of the way. Just, you can see them. We got some more going on here, John. We got uh, Zero B Creations. Where is that? This is Inigo Montoya. I think his father is killed. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Originally from Spain, but now residing in Florida. Inigo Montoya. He's on the search for this six-figured man who killed his father. His hobbies, aside from revenge, include fencing, henchwork, dancing, and eating chocolate with beautiful women. What is henchwork? Oh, do we work as a henchman? I get it now. I like yes. it. Yes. Yes. Can you give us a quote? Hello. My name is Inigo Matoy. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Uh, and let's not forget this attention to detail, the little scars on each side of the face. Wow. Yeah. Did you take a shower today? Uh, not yet. Yeah. That's so a, I smell. He's trying to be authentic, authentic to the time period. Fantastic. Are you wearing underwear? Was there underwear back then? I am. Good for you. Good for you. Well, let's hand over a Nico Montoya. Amazing. Oh, wow. He's doing a little dance. I don't know if that score is extra points, but take that into account, Jack. John, John, just so you know, I am not actually wearing underwear. Good to know. That explains the crotch rod. How about you guys? Contestant number 43, we have Steampunk Sisters, Steampunk Ursula, and Steampunk Ariel. It's your choice to figure out which one is which. Behold, the sea witch and the princess of the sea. One wants to poor, unfortunate soul, and the other wants to be a part of your world. Yeah. Part of your world. Yeah. Uh, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? What did you think? Their collection is complete. Look at Ariel and Ursula finally getting along, you guys. It's wonderful. Now, are you guys sisters in real life? 
best friend. Yes. Two of you guys ever fight yell at each other? All the time. During the assembly of these outfits? All the time. I don't wear the red lady she forced me. What words did you use when you called her name? This is a family friend of the show. I don't think I should say what I said. <laughs> Did, did she uh, did she make a bargain with you to wear the red wig, like take your voice for a couple hours? Yeah. She promised that she would give it back at the end. I got it a little early. And yet you're the one doing all the talking in that room. She's got to try some time. Ursula, Ariel, give it up! Let's give it up! <laughs> Contestant number 44, we got Big Sister and Little Sisters. This is from my, one of my favorite games, Bioshock. Never heard it? No, 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 you wouldn't. Big no, Sister no. and Little Sisters. Oh, mercy. This is... Watch out. Yeah. 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 yeah, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. The Little Sisters are meant to help the Big Daddy. Bioshock. It's like the Big Sisters and Little Sisters. This is creepy with a capital C, folks. Careful when you walk when you walk down catwalk. Oh boy, they are in, uh, in character. Uh, now what you may not understand, Michael, what's that? Is that as you, the player of the game, suck the essence from the little sisters, and it's the big sister's job to protect them. All I can think of right now is come play with us, Danny. Forever and ever and ever. Looks like someone played the thumb uh, one too many times and now they're out for revenge. This is creepy stuff. They, they've got the weapons, the props. I'm guessing that's hummingbird feeder right in there. It's awesome. That's awesome. It's awesome, John. You talk to me. You talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Not good, John. I don't think they can talk. Yeah, I don't want to get stabbed. This is part of the, We don't want to break that illusion. Yes, they let them remain creepy without any voice. Oh my gosh. Give it up! These guys look fantastic! Big sister, little sisters! Jeez! Oh no, oh no! I feel like I just watched a horror movie for 28 seconds. That was incredible. That's like I felt when I was growing up. My mom, she could have dressed like that. Yeah. Alright, let's welcome contestant number 47, Hellboy! She's Grace. She's in your face. Hell girl. All right. Oh. Hell girl. Hell girl. I see the fist. I, I see the cigar. Is there any kittens you have under your coat? Ah. No, no. You have stage fright. Yeah, stage fright. All right, but still in character. Got the kittens. You like the Snickers? What are the Hellboy like Snickers, right? Candy. Something. I'm guessing you listen to Alice Cooper. No, no, no. Hellboy's born to Christopher Cross. Christopher Cross? Yeah. Then I got such a long way to go. That's more Michael McDonald, but we get it. Whatever he's saying. Thank you, Hellgirl. Thank you so Let's much. Let's hear it Hellgirl. Hell is for children. Amazing. Oh, man, these costumes are fun. I'm having a good time here. Judges, are we having fun? You guys are getting an eyeful, aren't you? Get ready for contestants 48. This is sexy Miss Frizzle. That's sexy Miss Frizzle. Sexy Miss Frizzle, you know you want to check out this magic school bus. That's what it says here, folks. I didn't make that up. Let me read that again. Sexy Miss Frizzle, you know you want to check out this magic school bus. Sexy Miss Fizzle! Oh, I want to be one of the classmates. All right, Liv Friday! Makes me want to be teacher's pet. Die never. Tardigrade. It's an animal. It's a microscopic animal in the animal kingdom. They're indestructible. They've been shot into space by NASA. Miss Fizzle! Give it up for Miss Fizzle! Woo! 
Thank you, Miss Grizzle. <laughs> All right. John, I didn't really understand what you saw in your mail, but I liked your costume and thought you was a really good dresser. That's what they call now. Not cosplay anymore. Really good dressers. Okay, contestant number 49. Let's welcome John and Jody Jandit, who are killer clowns. That's clowns with a Z. All right? We like to clown around and kill a little bit. Look at them. They definitely oh. clown and kill. In what order, I do not know. Oh, man. Do you think they <laughs> clown around first and then kill? Or do they grab their plane, plane, kill them, and then clown around with their corpses? It's both ways, whatever you feel like. Uh, hi. All right, how are you doing? You guys married? This has got to be the most interesting marriage you'll see. Do you guys like horror films? Yes. Do you guys role play? A cosplay? Yes. Do you ever wear stuff like this in, in, when you shut your eyes at night? No. So you're not that weird? Not quite. <laughs> okay, well, you look fantastic. They never shut their eyes. This is Hawk, it's part of the night. Give it up, guys! Here we go. Give it up, you look fantastic, guys! Amazing! Wow. Uh, we're almost at the end of the first few months. Is this the last one? For now. Here we go, and the judges will, uh... You think that's it? We did, Big Sisters, is that it? All right, now, what's gonna happen? The judges, you guys are gonna start to, uh... Oh, shit. Sorry for swearing. Okay, so you're going to talk now amongst yourself? Yes. Yes, we're going to talk amongst ourselves. That's not what it's like. Is there a tough decision here? Um, actually, we've already been talking, and so I feel like we might be close to a decision already. Give them some time to judge, Michael. Stop. Just shut up. Try to include them. Include the judges. <laughs> All right, let's look. How much time do they get? You don't know how much time you need. Can you hurry it up? They're, they're working it out. They're crunching the numbers. What did you like? Which one did you like, sir? I don't like clowns. Like, anyone that's not the clowns. Okay, well, you don't know that because they scared you. They look real. So we, don't, we have a clown hanger here, or a non clown hanger. You know what? I thought this was a better, we were in better company than to hate clowns. No, no, no. It's, it's fine. It's a legitimate film. Clown phobia. Or, um,. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good word for the film. No. Um, what else you got there? Who's going to win this one? Um, the Scary Clowns. Scary Clowns? Alright, so now we have, it's no clowns or scary, like, yeah, they are four years. I'm all about the Sanderson system. <laughs> Sanderson system! <laughs> you purple! <laughs> How about you, sir? I have an adjustment. I agree with him, the Sanderson system. Anderson. All right, so we got some people maybe harking back to the right, Santa. 90s, 90s, right? How about you? Santa Claus there. Santa Claus? 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 Did you like the Sanderson sister girls? He said, I don't care. She like, likes the Sanderson sisters. Everybody likes the Sanderson sisters. Oh, we've got a little bit of a life aquatic grand oh, oh, thing on there. I like that. We got some others. We got Flamehead, some yeah. cool electronics, and uh, Ursula the Woman. Ursula, oh, you we got Schleiman. Remember Schleiman? We got a lot of brown coats here. I see brown coats hanging around. Oh, Hocus Pocus girls. Yeah, we've talked about the Hocus Pocus. The Sanderson sisters. Oh, oh yeah, the Sanderson. They got enough airplay. Come on, give someone else a chance. How about uh, Ahsoka Tano? Ahsoka Tano. Ahsoka Tano. Ahsoka Tano. You guys, while he's looking through that, look at these judges. They are hard at work trying to figure it out. This is, uh, they are undecided, or maybe they're getting there. Um, so, uh, you guys, contestant number one was uh, Azula. That was one of my personal favorites. 
But I, you know, why is that? Why was I offended? Well, it's from Avatar, a wonderful series. Didn't yeah. count that was on Avatar. Okay. Yeah, you don't, you get, don't get to see enough Avatar lover in here. I think it was uh, spoiled by the uh, amazing movie that came out. You know. Oh, Princess Bride guy. Nico Montoya. Nico Montoya, we're going back to a lot of, uh, yeah, we had video games, we had some great movies in there. I've never, yeah, I've never seen a Hocus Pocus uh, cosplay. Oh, uh, Winky, the Undersea Adventure, and Fly the Clockwork Octopus. I can't cool. wait to learn more about that, because I had no idea where that was from. But it worked. Out of character, she's owning it. These judges are hurrying up. Hey, they take their job seriously. Unlike I'm, somebody. <laughs> hey, we're a million now. What other cosplay do we have here? Right here. Or, you want to give it to us? What? Like, right, John, John, we're ready. Kim Possible. Oh, we got a Kim Possible group over here. Oh, we got a Rex Quando. Yeah. I, that's what I heard. I don't know where that's from. He's got some sweet pants. So, so this is it right here? He's going to use someone around us. There's some business. discrepancy. Some discrepancy in the final judging. Discrepancy. There's some there foul play. play. There could be foul play. Like murder? Someone could imagine. Imagine. The semen and the clowns? Yeah. Yeah. Someone murdered someone. Yeah. 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 Alright. We're figuring it out. Hold on. We're figuring some stuff out. Uh, by the way, what does the winner get? Did we announce that? Can I say that? The winner, or winners, right? We got Elf over there. I Next Dragon Con, we'll get their hotel paid for for the weekend. That's right. For the weekend. So you kind of forced to fly back out here next year <laughs> yeah. to make that possible. Maybe they'll sleep with us, John. Maybe. We'll get a sweet, just one double bed, see what happens. I'm in. Right. Are you in? Uh, just as long as they have a cot. You have a cot, yeah. So anyway, what are you doing later? Are those, uh, are those pizzas for us for like now? We got here. Oh, it's the awards. Oh, uh, yeah, the awards. Like tiny pizzas. You guys are... Now they're figuring it out here. Hey, has anyone seen that giant whale shark? Has anyone seen that whale shark poop? Hey, speak out. I'm jealous. Speak out with body vocals. Do you see this one over here with the little shiny thing that lures its prey? I mean, what is that? I forget. It's that deep sea fish. I forget what it's called. Yeah, whatever they said. That's... Anglerfish. Oh, Anglerfish. Fish. Anglerfish. Right? Anglerfish. Yeah, yeah, Anglerfish. Well, they said anus fish. Because it angles, right? Off their face. That's I don't know. Shiny. It is peachy. I thought they said they were anus fish. I'm sorry. Come here, anus fish. Give me your head. All right, guys. This. Hey, I want. First of all, again, give it up. First of all, for our judges. This is not easy work here. It's not easy. Secondly, I want to give it out to the aquarium. What a beautiful, remarkable night it is to have you all here for the legend of the chosen cosplay competition. And give it up for all the contestants before we give you the chance. Give it up one more time. Oh, really hard. Really hard. And they're all winners in my book. Number three. Is this real? Number three. Number three. Is that number three? Yeah. Wow, so the third place we'll start with. Yeah. Contestant number 10, Jen, Aaron Busco, Britt Roberts. Wait. Hocus Pocus! The Sanderson's! The Sanderson's! The Sanderson's! You guys call it. Third place! Congratulations! Oh, I guess it's Houses. Every month you switch. I'm so proud of you. Oh, they're gonna give us a bow. More for a walk. Look at that. They pass a walk into character. That is something else. Congratulations, ladies. Congrats. You put a spell on me. And oh. get out of your mind. Alright. Oh wow, oh, so yeah, this one. This is hey, I let them revel in their glory one last time right. and make it down those steps safer. Right. In second place, we have contestant number 36, 
Sav Swan and Meredith Cathcart as Savage and Nego Magami. What? Look at that. Papistico. Love it. All right, thank you so much. We'll be around.